Hello and welcome back to Drama Investigator. Timothy Westbrook came onto Snapchat recently to address all the hate she was getting surrounding YouTube and her appearance. She had a deep and meaningful conversation with us about people commenting on her weight and her fertility issues. She definitely went about this in a mature manner and good on her for addressing the comments in my opinion. Here was the full Snapchat. having like a little bit of a meltdown right now you guys like not major but like a little tiny baby meltdown me and puka puka's having a meltdown too aren't you puka that's right uh yeah my video is not showing up in a lot of people's sub feeds and i know that that's kind of one of those things that people are like no it is just make better content mm, you know um yes and no i mean yes kind of of. like when I hear people complaining about this kind of a thing over and over and over I think part of it is creator and part of it is uh, YouTube actually getting the videos to subscribers so if you have not seen that I posted today I posted today so swipe up go watch go leave some love leave some snapchat emojis of why don't we do like lips and lipstick tube i have not done that in a while so i would love to see the comments just like be completely um a bunch of emojis we haven't done that in a long time right ah why am i still in my bathrobe you guys i just get so distracted i'll like start doing emails i'll start organizing things i'll start like being on the phone and i'm just like wow i need to stop being the bathrobe boss i need to get it together bathrobe ceo right here getting it done with not a lot of clothing all right i need to get moving and grooving and i am filming one video today but i do hope to see you in those comments with your emojis supporting because youtube is broken today and we're just gonna all breathe together and hope for the best what's up you guys my phone's dying i'm trapped and plugged into the wall this happens at least once a day this is like my office right here just like by the bed um yeah so i just i felt like popping on snapchat saying hello i filmed today i work today i organized today life is good like i'm in a good emotional space and i don't know like i feel really really positive about youtube but also i'm in this weird mindset right now where i really wanted to try to not overthink everything and that included responding to people on twitter and kind of just speaking from my heart and if someone says something that makes me go mm, no um not that i'm gonna be nasty or tear someone down because that's like never my speed like that's not my thing at all but i feel like i want to empower myself to you know say things from my side and that can be tricky because i never want you guys to go and attack anyone like if i if i respond to someone where i'm like mm, no i that didn't feel good for me i didn't like it you know, I appreciate that you guys see my response and see where I stand on whatever issue it may be, whether it's my fertility, upload schedule, style of videos, how I dress, my makeup, my weight, whatever it may be. Um, you know, a lot of opinions get thrown at me and I do realize that's part of putting yourself out there online. But the other half of it is that I get to express my truth as well. So I'm never trying to put someone in a situation where they're gonna get torn down and if that ever happens, I'm quick to like get it out of there. Um, what happened on Twitter was really just someone picking on my weight, um, saying that they were coming from a good place and that could be the truth. But it just in the moment felt really like yucky to me because dang it, I am trying. I'm trying so hard to put on weight. I like wake up every morning, I'm lifting weights, I'm lunging, I'm squatting, I'm eating. I'm good with my diet. I'm eating a ton. Like, like it's almost like I have to, for me to gain weight, I have to work with a plan. Like I have to work out. I have to deadlift. I have to lunge. I have to squat. I have to do curls. Like it's a whole thing. Like my body does not want to be 
be bigger and I'd like my body to be bigger so it's kind of a little bit of a you know like I know um, and so when I get picked on for being skinny I get really sensitive about it and then when someone suggests that that's whatever issue it may be a lot of opinions get thrown at me and I do realize that's part of putting yourself out there online but the other half of it is that I get to express my truth as well so I'm never trying to put someone in a situation where they're gonna get torn down and if that ever happens I'm quick to like get it out of there um, what happened on Twitter was really just someone picking on my weight um, saying that they were coming from a good place and that could be the truth but it just in the moment felt really like yucky to me because dang it I am trying I'm trying so hard to put on weight I like wake up every morning I'm lifting weights I'm lunging I'm squatting I'm eating I'm good with my diet I'm eating a ton like like it's almost like I have to for me to gain weight, I have to work with a plan. Like I have to work out, I have to deadlift, I have to lunge, I have to squat, I have to do curls. Like it's a whole thing. Like my body does not want to be bigger and I'd like my body to be bigger. So it's kind of a little bit of a, you know, like I know. Um, and so when I get picked on for being skinny, I get really sensitive about it. And then when someone suggests that that's why I'm having fertility issues, I'm like, oh, hell no. You know, like, so I, I just, I'm human. I have my moments, you know? Um, anyway, that whole thing I'm done with, I'm over with, I'm fine. But I honestly was thinking about it, maybe because I have more time now, maybe on Snap or IG, I will share with you guys what I'm doing to, in a healthy way, put on a little bit more weight. I train three days a week in the morning. Um, Rebecca is my trainer. I am going to put her Instagram right here so you can go and just ooh and ah. She's fabulous. Like she, like not even just like her body and training, but she as a person is fabulous and I'm lucky to call her a friend also. And you know, we've kind of been through it. Like she's gotten me to a place where I've been like, yeah, look at my booty I look good <laughs> you know like I've been really happy um, over the past like couple of years like I've had my moments but then if I get lazy for like a minute dang it, <laughs> it deflates and it's really discouraging Discour oh, I can't talk right now it's discouraging and it's a little frustrating um, anyway you guys seem to like watching like the little teeny tiny snippets that I've been doing of my workouts in the morning I'm gonna show you more I'm gonna show you the progress that I make and um, maybe that will be something really positive for anyone of any size. You know, get moving, treat yourself well, focus on your health. My advice to anyone and my advice to myself is to focus on your health first, how you look second. Um, you know, that's a big reason why I released Halo. You know, I have a lot of plans and I mentioned in my announcement video about the schedule that I am going to branch into color cosmetics, skincare. I have a lot of plans. I've been dreaming this up for so long and um, but I'm a huge advocate of beauty from the inside out and being healthy. So, you know, be gentle with yourself and focus on what you can do to feel strong, good, healthy and like screw the rest. How you look is secondary. Now in other news, as we all know, recently Jeffree Star did an amazing review on ALF's Paulus Potty Primer, which is an $8 primer, and he compared it to the $52 Toucher Primer. And since this video came out, the ALF Primer has sold out everywhere. On Twitter he was commenting this, New video alert, drugstore vs luxury primer, who reigns supreme? When a product is great for the price, it won't last long. I heard that Walmart and Ulta Beauty stores will be stocking it on the 2nd of the 1st. And here we can see a follower tweeting Jeffree Star saying, and it's sold out again. Alf Cosmetics tweeted, our Paulus Putty Primer is back in stock on Ulta Beauty. Run and get yours now. To which Jeffree Star responded, oh my god, look what just restocked. Star family, hurry. Jeffree Star then took to Snapchat and gave some business advice to brands and who they should be spending their hard-earned marketing money on when it comes to influencers. He literally called some influencers outdated. <gasps> Who was he referring to? Here's the video, I'll let you decide. Good morning everybody, how are ya? Okay everybody, so Elf just tweeted that the Poreless Putty Primer that I reviewed is back in stock on Ulta. 
So I shared it a few minutes ago and I was like, ooh, bitch, look what is back. So I just clicked Alta, girl. You thought the Star family was kidding? Sold out, Miss Elf. Let's make some more. Okay, I saw a few people. Is Elf paying you? I'm like, bitch, no one's ever paid me to say shit. If a product is good, I want to share it. There's no competition in my head ever. There's no competition in my world. When a product works, I want to share it with my audience. And $8, girl. I was like, good morning, Elf. How are you? Um, so Alta, I guess sold out <laughs> um it will be back in stores allegedly on february 1st okay that's what um elf is saying on twitter so saddle up if you want the primer i'm sure they're gonna make a lot more girl i am still living for it i stand by my review it's a sickening product for the price you can't beat it um so thank you guys for always trusting my opinions and trying everything out um i have never heard someone go you approve something i bought it and it flopped never heard it never will. I've been seeing a lot of brands still using, I'm going to say outdated influencers. People that are on Instagram, you may have a million followers, but bitch, where's your likes? Where's your engagement? It's all phony. Either you bought it or you fell off, honey. Um, so my advice to brands, stop wasting your marketing money on people that don't matter and just make a good fucking product. You heard that? That's all for this investigation. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. My Instagram and Twitter will be linked down below in the description. And I'll see you guys in our next investigation.